right, we're live now. Oh, Let's see if anybody's going to show up so that way I can share my finds with everybody. But you know what? This is pretty cool. Huh? What should I show first? This, the brass or the stir? Let's do the brass first. Okay. Hi, Raven. How are you doing today? <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, my gosh. I'm just, hi, Ruth. I'm just so excited. I, I just came back about half an hour ago from, actually went to go get some household stuff. And the person that I usually get my jewelry from had some beautiful stuff. Hi, Lydia. Um. So what do you guys want to see first? You want to see the the brass, the sterling, or the vintage Native American beadwork? Hi, Maury. Oh, because the vintage Native American beadwork is something. There's my daughter. She's sitting right here, Lily. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm not feeling too well right now. <laughs> Oh, I think a cold is passing through our family. <coughs> so, well, I guess um, I'll start with how I have it listed. Sterling brass. Oh, you want to see the native stuff first. Okay. Um, I can't touch that. I don't know is. Yeah, you can. I can? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this, it came in a box. It all came in a box. Oh. No. That, that okay, okay it was all in a shoe box and it's actually Hi, all Maria. it's all collectibles um this here was in it it is a cedar pouch and oh my gosh hi sis you <laughs> heard the bell this time huh that's cool this is a cedar pouch and um Oh, my gosh, you can still smell cedar in it, and you can smell the leather, too. It is just, I was just shocked and amazed at the price. I got all this Native American uh, vintage stuff. Um, this isn't beaded, but it's um, wampum style. It's weaved. It's a weaved belt. Um, majority of the Natives that wear these are on the eastern coast. A wampum style it's done with yarn and you can tell that it's quite it's got age to it but it is gorgeous very gorgeous <laughs> belt both the men and women wear these and you'll know by the look of the beads especially like Lydia and myself and any of you who um, do anything with beads, um, you, you'll tell that these are um, at least well over 30, maybe 40 years old. Um, this is a belt. Somebody had put it on an actual leather belt. Um, it's a woven style. Let's see, is my light hitting it too much? There we go. It's, wo it's not woven, it's loomed. It's a loomed piece, but... This is a Lakota style design. I don't know what size the belt is, but um, hi, Don. Yes, it is a lovely belt. They used um, like cloth on the inside for the, the lining and everything, but it is, I mean, for it being as old as it is, I have to say it is still in great condition. Hi, Michelle. And this was in there. Little box. With the Lucky Rabbit's foot. So. <laughs> and look at this box. It is a vintage box. It's a very, it's still in pretty good condition. Oh, let me make sure I put this. I always pop out the chat from YouTube because sometimes the the StreamYard chat it just goes so slow. 
now we're coming to the really good stuff here. These are um, Shoshone style, fully beaded moccasins. The beadwork is still all intact. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Hi, HD. Yeah, I know, right, Ruth? Poor bunny. But it's all intact. Um, its lace is still, its lace is still very, very well taken care of. And look at these beads. You can tell that these are the vintage, these are vintage beads. They are, like I said, well over. They have to be at least 30 to 40 years old. Here's the other side. And the bottom, of course, has cowhide on it. So um, these had to have been dancer shoes, dancer moccasins, because um, we put cowhide on the bottom when, we, when we're going to dance. So that way we, it, we don't step on like thistles or stickers or whatever. But yes, this, they, I mean, my friend had these, the one that I get the jewelry from and stuff. She had these and they are, I couldn't believe in what great condition these are. These are Lakota style moccasins. They are men's moccasins. And look at that beadwork. And these are also, you know, vintage. So you can tell by the way they're, they are. And the leather, I mean, you know, you, you know that um, buckskin. These are all fully buckskin except for the bottoms are done with, with cowhide. Um, so, you know, we don't step on anything to hurt ourselves. Through this, through. Like I said, these are Lakota style. These were in the box as well. Look how old these little baskets are. They are hand woven. Hi, Scarlett. Oh, not in those, sis. Those are, those are pretty old. They'd probably fall apart with the first drum beat. <laughs> These are just, they're just cute. And you can see by the, the wear in it, there's a little tear right there. I don't know. It was like that when I got it, but. You know, it's, these are collectors. This stuff is collectors. So if any of you out there know anybody that collects this stuff, point them my way. Oh, uh, what else was in there? Okay, this looks like it was a lid to something, but I love what it says. Quality of product is essential to continuing success. Look at that. I think I'm going to hang this one on my wall. <laughs> yeah, Myra. Those were really pretty baskets. I mean, when I when I got into it, I was like, my goodness. And these are children's armbands. And these are also done in um, a, a Lakota style. They're colors and everything. And it looks like the, the um, initials are on there. But, you know, they're collectors, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you could put them in a display case. And they're lined with actual soft um, doe hide or buckskin. I can't say doe hide because I'm not sure. These are just cute little children's armbands. 
And here's the other side. This one has three initials on it. I mean, somebody put a lot of time and love into these things. Well, I'm going to show everything that came in the shoe box. And these look like um, those old, um, I guess you could say, what are they? Curtain, curtain, um, curtain hooks or something like that. Shower hooks. I don't know. <laughs> They're quite old. Oh, that came in there. Hey, Moonstone. How are you? This was in there. It's plastic, so, but it's vintage. You can tell by the, the little the little hook here. <laughs> I'm kind of shaking because I was like, oh, my goodness, what a steal. Oh, it's missing some of its rhinestones, but, you know, that can that can be remedied. <laughs> and then there's this. Um, this is um, an awl. It's an awl. It's very old. And see, I'll show you right here. You can see where it's coming apart right there. And it's, it's like a thin shell that was put over it or something like that. But it's very pretty. Is that it? Is there anything else? Oh my goodness! And a cute little, cute little pin. Oh, okay. A cute little pin. This this feels plastic as well, and it's missing its little thing that you would latch it with. They're vintage. You can tell very well that they are vintage. Oh my goodness! When I come, when I saw that box. I asked her how much it was. Jamie. Oh, hi, Jamie. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> $100 for the whole thing. I mean, that's not bad for vintage beadwork when it's actually collectors. And then this little pin. has little moccasins <laughs> on it with the little medallion beaded. And yeah, a lot of times, yeah, yeah, Lori, it was a steal. Oh, and yeah, we, a lot of times back then, we just used safety pins for the back of our, our little pins and stuff. But this is just cute. I love it. This was in the box as well. This is not native, but it was in the box. Oh, boy, that light is just hitting hard on it. Okay, should I turn it off? Can you guys see it now? This is actual glass, really thin glass. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Real thin glass. It's a brooch, of course, as you saw. <laughs> and then it has little earrings to go with it. little clip earrings i'm so afraid to open these things because they're so old <laughs> you need my email huh scarlet these are just stunning when i opened up the box i was like oh my goodness and this is what was on this is the name that was on the box graham's jewelry um ray colorado and the box is also in excellent condition Anybody who collects vintage boxes. They are beautiful. Have to be very careful with them. Make sure that the grandbabies don't want to play with these because they love to play with my jewelry. But that's what came out of the box that um, the shoe box with the vintage Native American work in it. So I guess I'll, I'll show you the guess the costume jewelry that I got from the lady. I mean, that other bag that has the costume jewelry in it. Okay. Okay. It goes right there. 
I found me a beautiful vintage brooch. One of those hand painted brooches. Here's the back. I don't know if you can read the, there you go. Can you read that? It says B dot four dot on there. Yes, Russian. It is very beautiful. Ooh, wrong side. Well, it looks like my screen is coming off it. And another beautiful little brooch. <coughs> it has mother of pearl in it. And then those cute little rhinestones that go around the back, around it. It is. Then I found this necklace. Um, it. Let me finish. I think I got it tangled up here. Okay, I put it in a bag. Well, she put it in a bag and as she said she didn't want it to be falling loosely all over in my pocketbook. Um, this is a necklace. Has faux pearls and a little acrylic bead right here on the end. Here's its clasp. Very beautiful clasp. And it's done, and it is, what do you call it, the um, antique gold. It's done in antique gold. And do I have it the right way? There we go. There's its pendant. Look at that pendant. The little butterflies, there's little butterflies on the pendant. And then the little scroll, the, the way the leaves are coming around in the, like a filigree effect. And here's the back. So that way you know there was no, no cabochon put in there. To be honest, it looks more like more like it was handmade instead of factory made. Well, I don't know, but it is beautiful. It is a very beautiful necklace. Hi, Jillian. And then these little earrings. Um, Anytime I shop for jewelry, I have um, a really good habit of carrying a, a magnet with me. Usually I take my little spyglass with me, as my grandchildren call, them, call it, but I didn't have it with me this time. But I think these may be stainless steel hooks and the little hearts. Check out those hooks. And then you've got the little hearts with the little rhinestones in them. They are just pretty. I also picked up three brass bangles. I don't know if you ladies like to buy or purchase brass bangles, but I'm taking my chance on them. This one here, it is, it's, it's what you call hollow on the inside, but it is very pretty, a very pretty bangle. And it says made in India. I don't know if any of you can read that. It's too dark now. Now it's too dark. Okay. Okay, can you there. see that where it says made in India? But yes, it's a very beautiful bangle. Here's another one. And I really can't read what that says in there on there. It looks like it says India something then or numbers with it. But look at this one. Okay, let me see if I can straighten this camera back out. Okay, I had it fixed. Pull this up there. Going to the advanced settings. Okay. How's that? Are you guys getting a good focus there? 
All right, look at the little stars all the way around. And it says India and that right here, and it looks like it's numbers or something. No, it says Baghdad. I can read it better right here. <laughs> but that's a brass bangle <laughs> as well. And here's another one. And this one here, the detailing um, is what caught my eye because I love elephants. And then there goes the light again. Can you see the little elephant in there? Elephant in the trees. I mean, it goes all the way around just like that. All the way around with the little elephant. Hi, Lynn. And that's my brass. And, oh, and costume. Then I picked this up. A beautiful jade. I'm going to test this part right here to make sure that it's not um, gold or silver. Because I know they were made with 14, 10 karat gold and sterling. The only problem with this one is that it's missing its safety chain. And that was the only problem I found with it. And the clasp works just fine. Okay, maybe if I move my camera. There we go. I don't know if you'll, can you, can you guys see the little markings in there on the, the metal? There we go. There's some markings there. It's like little bamboo leaves. Yes, it is an easy fix for a safety chain. And then um, we're going to start with the silver. Believe it or not, I found this in her um, her costume jewelry uh, pile. I don't think she really paid attention to what, what, what she was sorting or what. But this beautiful piece here is actually Italy 925. Um, the marking in it was so small. Okay, there's, there's the latch. And I'll flip it over and it opens like that. Um, the marking in it was so small. Let me see if I can point out where the marking was. The marking is just like right in there. It is so tiny. I mean, it's so itty bitty that even when I went to use the magnifier on my phone, <laughs> I had to really put it in there. Yes, this is my daughter, Jillian. Um, this is Lily. This is when this is my pretty girl that everybody's always saying hi to. <laughs> but I found this in in her costume pile. She just hand me the and she gives these pretty little pouches out. <clears throat> And I picked up two chains. This chain is um, Italy 925. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see. This would be. This will be totally great for. Um, maybe if we put it all the way up to it. Okay, let me move the jewelry out of the way and all this. Get it the right way. Get it this way. Look at that. <laughs> it says. Oh, Don. <laughs> it says, I love you. I, I picked this up because I thought maybe it would be great for a nice Valentine sale. All the way around the chain, it says, I love you. It is just a beautiful little 18-inch chain. Picked up another sterling chain. And it is gorgeous. 
Violin. Gorgeous chain. <laughs> and this one here surprised me. It has a sterling silver barrel clasp. Forgive my nails, ladies. I just haven't taken the time to take care of my fingers. <laughs> Oh, you remember the chains that have I love you all the way around? Yes, Julian, it is unusual for a sterling silver barrel clasp. Then I, I found this. It's a hollow heart on a very beautiful 16 inch, I believe. No, it was 17 inches when I measured it. 17 inch um, sterling silver chain that has the lobster claw clasp. Okay, you wanna hand me another? And now yeah, that's, I think this is the last little, little pouch. This one is in sterling silver, but I figured somebody might wanna love this guy. It's an original Disney Mickey watch it's working <laughs> with the jingle yeah it's very pretty oh i forgot to show the back of the heart um on the back of the heart you should be able to see sterling so it says right here it says sterling and it looks like some numbers underneath it or something but it's sterling no it says nine two five underneath there but like i said the mickey watch is just cute now i've got too much light there huh Ew, i'm holding him upside down there's the mickey watch and it works as you can see the second hand's going original disney let me open it up Make sure I put it up there the right way. Let's see, too much light. Ah, there, can you see the Disney? This is just beautiful little watch. It works. I'm going to pull the little thing back out so that way I don't kill the battery till it's new home till it's new owner takes over you want to pull it pull that thing out so it don't then I then I found this um, desert scene with a little Adobe home <coughs> kind of like a storyteller bracelet And right there is the maker's mark. That is a water bird. I got to find out who that water bird maker is. Unless somebody has a site, they can find it real quick. And then it is marked sterling right there. And it fits a small to medium wrist because I have a... I have a kind of like a medium size wrist, so that's how it would lay on a medium wrist. That is a very beautiful piece. Let me move this other stuff. It's probably trying to focus on that. And then Moonstone, the mamas out there, I found these faceted Moonstone sterling silver. They are vintage post earrings. I think medium size is like about two inches. Anything under two inches is smaller. But I was surprised to find these faceted like this. They're pretty. They are very pretty. There's the markings. <laughs> it says India. 
925. Another pair of sterling silver unmarked earrings. Bears. And there's the back. I'll have some backs for them. They'll be like And then last but not least, and I fell in love with this one because it tells a story. It's a, it's a native riding bareback on his horse. Um, and we, we, um, we have races like that. I can't remember what they are actually called. But natives, we do have races like that where it's like a relay. Yes, I did get some really nice goodies today. And this ring is like nine and a quarter. But it's a native running bareback on a horse. And he's sterling. And there's marks on the inside of the ring. If I can just get my fingers out of the way there so you all can see it. That is a native running bareback. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> and then I got this pretty um it's it's a it's a kind of like a dome. It is a size 11 sterling silver. Everybody's been asking me to get some bigger rings and that size 11 fits my middle finger just fine. Get it. And there's the 925 marking on the inside. Well, I am thinking probably um, since this month, I'm really busy trying to help. Um, Help get steals and deals off the ground, making sure that um, everybody that's booked gets their stuff posted up on our Facebook. And I'm thinking I I won't be able to have my sales probably until maybe the first week of February. Because I'm dedicating this whole month to everything for stills and deals. Unless I am asked um, by Cindy to go on and and do some. Go on and do, do an auction with her. Sometimes she surprises me and asks me to come on. But they may be up in there. Um, and some of the other stuff that, you know, I showed previously will be in there. I'll show you another pair. These I got... I got through, um, what, oh, but, um, I got these earrings also, they're, they're inlaid, sterling, but yes, um, I've, I've started getting collecting my sterling again and you know trying to get going forward. You know, my family had its setbacks and everything. But, you know, it's time for me to go forward and, and just march like a soldier. Now, believe it or not, this is stainless steel. This is something else that came with it, is stainless steel, and it has some of the most prettiest markings in there that I've ever seen. This will be going up also in the costume lots or maybe by itself. You spent your allowance this month, Raven. Hi, one thrifty hoarder. It's good to see you. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit the bell so that way you, know, you can see all the beauties that I've made.
And I know a lot of you have already probably seen the barrettes that I did two days ago, if you pay attention to my Facebook at all. <laughs> but I'll show these to you right now. These are loomed. And these are the large hair barrettes. Look at that turtle I was able to put in there. Wow, I just can't believe how that light is just like smacking right into that thing. Okay, there we go. There's the turtle. Done in a feather. And these are this is done on those those type of hair barrettes. Because I know sometimes um the other hair barrettes, they like kind of like pull your hair too much. And I, I grew up wearing these type of hair barrettes, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and buy these barrettes and then bead something on them. I know, I know, Lynn, I mean, seeing a bracelet like that in stainless is so pretty. I mean, these people out there, so talented, you know, they, they're able to just about do anything anymore. That's how it fits me. Room to slide. How do you get one of these? Well, these are going up in auction. Um, this, are you talking about the barrettes? <laughs> this one is one that I did with the rose. And I edged this one because I think flowers need their petals. Well, these you can, um, what is it called, Lori? What do you call it? You call it commission. You can commission me to make one. And you can tell me what type of hair barrette you want. One of these, I, I, what do you call these, like vintage style hair barrette or whatever, vintage barrettes, because these are the kind that everybody wore for the longest time. And they do tend to stay in your hair a little better. At least I think they do. But these are loomed. And like I said, I, on, on my post, these are done with um, 15 O Miyuki's and the turtle, the little turquoise turtle is done with the 15 O Charlotte cuts. And look how perfectly they laid even together. <clears throat> And then the rose, it is done with 11 o Toho's, which is a little larger. But like I said, that's those are going to go up for auction um, this coming Saturday um, for Liz. as my donation to Liz. But that's all I have to share and show right now, my friends. And I really do appreciate you all coming and watching my share. Make sure you hit the like. Hit the like down there. And if you're not subscribed, which most of you are that are watching right now, but those that will be coming if you do watch, do hit the subscription button and do hit the bell because I would love for you to get your notifications when I come on. I know, like I said, I'm trying to make my channel a little more active this year. I love you all. <laughs> oh, I love you all. And, you know, without you, I wouldn't have my channel. And I'll see you guys out there around in YouTube. I love you. See you guys.